Hello everyone. Welcome to the video series on interesting topics of modern Python programming and in this particular video we will talk about abstract base classes and abstract methods. So the idea of abstract base classes or ABC is not new in any object oriented programming. You will get that in C++, Java and many other object oriented programming. So Python being an object oriented programming language is also having the capability of ABC and abstract methods. But before we just go ahead, dive in and write the code, we must understand why we should use abstract base classes or abstract methods. So we will start with a particular use case. So the use case about which I am going to talk is state machines. So now if you are a programmer, you must have heard about state machines. What is a state machine? So any software, code, process, functions, which doesn't terminate after doing its job is actually a state machine in some way or other. So even if you are writing a blank main function which is waiting for user input, it is in a state of waiting for input. And once the user input is provided, it moves to other state which is doing something with that particular user input. So I hope you are getting my point. So if your software is running for longer time, if it doesn't terminate as soon as it finishes its job, it is a state machine, whether we have created this state machine explicitly or it is behaving in the same way implicitly. Now to further understand state machine, let's take a very simple example. Let's assume that we are in a happy state right now, right? And for some reason at this point of time, we lost some money, maybe in the stock market. Okay. So God forbid, I don't expect it to happen to any one of us, but let's assume for a moment that we were in a happy state and we lost some money and we migrated to sad state, right? So we have changed the state from happy state to sad state. Again, things will change. Time will change. We receive some money and we moved back to happy state. So this is nothing but a very simple state machine. And this is the same example I will use to tell you what ABC is all about. We create state machines because you know what we want in the code. It is easy to identify what is a state, what is an event and what is the state machine doing. We also want to make sure that it must be easy for a programmer to expand available states. For example, in our code, we talked about happy state, sad state. There may be excited state or there may be boring state and so on and so forth. So it should be easy for the programmer to uh, expand the states or even delete the states and events. Now let's talk about events. Events are something which signal transformation from one state to another state. For example, if I say that I moved from happy state to sad state, which means the event is lost money. Sad state to happy state, the event is received money. Now there is one benefit if we want to explicitly code the state machine. If we do that, we will focus more on what to do rather than how to arrange the big chunk of code in our program. Now I hope we understand what is state machine and why we use that. Let's go ahead and see the Python code and understand more about abstract base classes or ABC and abstract methods. So here is our code. So the first thing which we should do while creating state and events is that we create a template. We create a template of states and events. Before we go ahead and start using this abstract base class concept, we need to import ABC from a module named ABC. ABC is nothing but abstract base classes. So we will say from ABC, import ABC that is capital ABC and abstract method. This abstract method is a decorator and here is how we can use the same. So I have created a state right um, derived from ABC and I'm creating an abstract method called in state and I'm not defining any implementation over here. So here is how we will go ahead and use it. Let me create the happy state and sad state. So what I will do is that I will create happy state derived from state and in the function in state 
uh, what I will print is that I am in happy state okay and let me create a sad state also so this is sad state and I am in sad state right now you can see that if we create an abstract base class with a method called in state which is an abstract method the meaning of abstract method is that it must be implemented in the derived class so i am giving a template to the states i am creating it can have one function or hundreds of functions but i am giving it a template so if i am creating a happy state i need to define this function and say i am in a happy state i can do anything else over here and tomorrow if we want to expand our states we can just copy paste this template and create let's say boring state and let's write i am in a boring state now before we go further you might be tempted to think that you know what i do not need to derive this state from abc after all even if i don't do that it serves the same purpose that's fine but there is one difference so let me go ahead and create the instance of state I can do this right and if I go ahead and run this code the code works successfully now let me derive it from ABC and if I go ahead and run the code I get an error saying that can't instantiate abstract class with abstract method in state so that's the reason you should derive it from ABC okay otherwise people can create instance of a state which we do not want now something similar we will create with events okay so uh, let me just go ahead and get rid of this and i have already written the code for event so this is my event thing right so i have created an abstract event and i have created two event lost money or receive money okay so similarly we can create multiple events like for boring state we can say that you know uh, multiple events like watched a boring movie or um, not feeling well kind of event okay now let us create a state machine out of it out of these two states and events so here is how my state machine will look like so this is my state machine in the init function i am initializing current state to happy state and i am having a function which actually prints the current state and then I have a receive event function and in this I have one if condition that if the receive event is lost money move the state to sad state okay so here is how the complete code looks like now I'll put this code in my github page and I will give the link to you in the description section so just uh, follow on over here for some time I have created a abstract state abstract base class which cannot be instantiated and it is given a template in form of in state method similar thing is there for event okay and what we have done is that we have created two state called happy state and sad state and two events called lost money and receive money and this is our state machine so let's go ahead and create the state machine i have created the state machine let me print our uh, on which state I am in so I'll print current state so if I go ahead and run this code you can see that I am in happy state being printed right now let me go ahead and create an event called receive event and say that the event which I have received is lost money okay so after this if I go ahead and print the current state I should be in sad state right so if I go ahead and run the code we can see that first it was in happy state then still it is in happy state uh, no that's not correct i haven't created the instance of lost money so now the person is in sad state okay so i can again create the receive event for let's say uh, receive money and i can just print it again and for this I need to change the logic and I am just putting a else condition for a simplicity purpose. I will say again current state equal to uh, let's say happy state. And if I go ahead and run this code you can see that you know uh, first the state machine was in happy state. Then it went to sad state. Then it went to happy state once again. Okay. 
So you know what I deliberately wanted to give this particular example so that you can properly understand why to use abstract base classes and why to use abstract methods. It just to provide a template where similar things can be created easily. So if your code or program is arranged in an abstract way where it is easy to understand what your code is trying to do. Okay. So if you would like to draw abstract classes or abstract events or abstract states, it is very easy to draw how the interaction of your system looks like. So you know what, as I said, any code which doesn't exist after completing its work, it is implicitly a state machine. So try changing your code if you have some code like this into a state machine and you will be able to see the difference from the way things are arranged, things are being accessed as well as how you can depict the things that is happening in your system in a pictorial way easily. Okay. So that's all I wanted to talk about in this particular video. Thanks a lot people. Thanks for watching. Please take a moment to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Till the next time we meet. Good day. Goodbye. Take care.